The mysteries of Islam fascinate us time and time again. This is no different from the life story of the Prophet. Who was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam? An illiterate desert merchant who one day stumbled upon amazing Arabic rhetoric? Or was he the creation of Allah's greatest light, sent down to earth to pull man out of ignorance and bring them to the purest of truths? I, Ali Burji, am on a journey to discover the real story behind the Prophet, the real story behind our religion, the root, the beginning, the cradle of civilization. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء وسيد المرسلين أبي القاسم محمد المصطفى صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين الغر الميمين المظلومين والعنة الله على أعدائهم أجمعين من الآن إلى قيام يوم الدين إن شاء الله Dear Doctor, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's been a week, inshallah, and I'm really looking forward to today's session. I understand um, you brought uh, a book which uh, you'd like to share from it with regards to the marriage of Sayyidah Fatima sallallahu alayhi and Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam. And inshallah, we'd, uh, we'd start from um, the order that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi during the Ma'raj. Bismillah. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala baytihi al-tayibin al-tahirin. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammadin. Wa la'nati da'amati ala a'da'ihim ajma'in. Yes, um, uh, there's a, a small book, but it's very concise. Mm -hmm. um, the book is in Farsi, and it's called Guzar Shal Hazab Al Hazaz Al Zawaj Hazab Al Zahra. It's like uh, a, a detailed timeline uh, or event by event um, account of the marriage of uh, Fatima Al Zahra alayhi uh, salam. And the author? And the uh, is by the author is by Muhammad Riza Ansari. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's um, it's very brief, uh, but at the same time detailed enough. Uh, uh, it focuses uh, on all the reports and accounts and hadith from uh, uh, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa uh, throughout the uh, the time uh, concerning the marriage of uh, Fatima Zara alayhi salam. Um, it's about eighty pages, but it's uh, uh, as I said. Uh, very much to the point, uh, concentrate on all issues of concern. Um, and uh, inshallah, I would like to, uh, uh, we start talking about uh, right from the beginning as to when it, when it was that uh, uh, Allah instructed the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi concerning the marriage of Fatima Zahra. Inshallah. So, um, I can't wait to be honest with you uh, as to what the book will reveal to us today, inshallah. So uh, let's begin. Bismillah. Yes, sir. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, it's reported that um, when uh, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alayhi was uh, in the Mi'raj, uh, it was during uh, the ascension to the to the heavens and, and during the uh, course of Mi'raj that Allah subhanahu wa taala uh, gave. Uh, if you like the good news or the good tidings about uh, the marriage of Fatima al Zahra uh, to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi. and uh, and it says the hadith says that uh, the Prophet uh, Allah subhanahu wa taala said uh, to the Prophet in the in, in the course of the Mi'raj um, that O Muhammad I have chosen you uh, for uh, to convey my message um, to the people. And I have created Al um, Siddiq uh, Al Akbar uh, uh, from the same, uh, uh, if you like, Tina, from the same uh, uh, clay, uh, 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 if you like, matter, mm -hmm. um, 
that I have created you from, uh, and he will be your um, uh, wazir, um, your successor, your vicegerent, uh, and the father of uh, your uh, two uh, grandsons, who will be uh, the master um, of the youth of paradise. And um, uh, the chief of the women of the worlds, uh, Sayyidat Insa al Alameen, uh, I have made decide that she will marry um, him. So this was the news that uh, uh, the Prophet Sallallahu received during Mi'raj. At that time, Pro Fatima Zahra probably was very young. Mm -hmm. um, doesn't say specifically when, but you're talking about must have been a um, uh, few years old. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> um, and um, so this was given during the Ma'raj, and of course the hadith continues that... Uh, was, sorry, uh, Doctor, was this the first incident where we have a narration or proof that the marriage between Fatima al-Zahra and Amir al-Mu'mineen was predestined, was an order from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is this the first yes, ever event? Yes, it was in, in, that, in the course of the Mi'raj that yes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, declared to the Prophet that he has decided, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decided that Fatima Zahra salam marries Imam Ali alayhi salam. Um, <coughs> and this stresses out very important, again emphasizes the importance of Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam, that they're not ordinary people. For, for, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself to predestine this marriage and also he informs Rasulullah that his grandchildren will be the, the chiefs of the youth of uh, paradise. Yeah. So from here as well, we can acquire even more proofs of recognizing the, the divine authority given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Ahlul Bayt which mm -hmm. is very important. <coughs> Specifically, um, Allah will say that when it comes to it as far as the authority is concerned. We have it in the Quran. And various other verses um, <coughs> that Allah specifically says that your um, people who have authority over you are Allah and His Messenger, and um, if you like Imam Ali and the appointed successors, or divinely appointed successors of the Prophet. So, when it comes to authority, we have specific instructions. Um, but yes, this. Uh, uh, this report goes to show the uh, stations of Ahlul Bayt Alim Salam, but not only that specifically, let's be very specific, is that mm -hmm. uh, that the issue of the marriage of uh, Fatima Zahra Alim Salam uh, was, um, if you like, determined by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala took the initiative um, to inform the Prophet that he will wants that Fatima Zahra marry Imam Ali Alim Salam. Um, <coughs> we don't have such specific instructions, if you like, for um, for the Prophet sallallahu alaihi or uh, for other that. Um, um, although uh, during Mi'raj, of course, mm -hmm. or, or, although um, we the the marriage of uh, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi to say the Khadija uh, when it took place, um, if you like again according to plans of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but the sort of instructions that we have in here and the sort of the hadith that we I think we pre previously read when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi said um, I am like you and you know I marry you and, and marry my stepdaughters to you uh, except Fatima her marriage is in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I'm waiting his instructions in this regard of course when he said that you could say well, he's been informed, yes, he's been informed, but he still waited for instru specific instructions as to uh, when uh, that should take place. He waited specific instructions from Allah via Jibreel, السلام, which that did happen, which inshallah in the course of this or future episodes, we will be talking about this. So this, as I said, this was uh, the first instruction, uh, not instruction, the first um, um, informing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informing the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, during Mi'raj that he wants Fatima Zahra to, to marry Imam Ali alayhi salam and then the, the hadith continues that uh, you are like gives a, um, an analogy if you like 
He says, you are like a tree and Ali are the branches. Ali is the branches of that tree and Fatima Zahra are the leaves and the Hassan and Hussein are the fruit of that tree. Uh, so they are of oh one, one nature, one, one specific mm. category. Oh and um, um, do we have any other couple in, in, our, in our history from, from all our prophets that is as unique as Fatima? No, in fact, uh, not only we don't have, because Fatima Zara alayhi salam um, is superior to, uh, if you like, uh, we have various hadiths that superior to all men and women, except uh, the Prophet Imam Ali alayhi salam. Um, uh, so not only say that in Salah Alameen, but she has, uh, she has superiority over other, uh, all other men, and, uh, men except with the exceptions of uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Imam Ali Alayhi Salaam. Um, not only that, in the case of marriage Fatima Zahra and Imam Ali Alayhi Salaam, they are the only couple in the history of mankind who are both ma'asum. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. We don't have... The purest of the pure. Uh, we don't have... Um, other instances mm -hmm. where we have uh, we have like the Prophet sallallahu marrying, uh, if you like, uh, say the Khadija um, but uh, she is one. She's not one of the say the Khadija Given her um, uh, esteem position, mm -hmm. uh, an eminent position, she's not one of the fourteen ma'asum, and um, and all other imams have married um, virtuous, very pious women. Um, um, who gave birth to uh, the following imams. Um, of course, they married the case of uh, the Prophet and Imam Hassan and Imam Zawad. They married, they were also in wedlock with women who were um, evil, if you like, whom they killed their husbands, like uh, Imam Hassan, Imam Hassan and Imam Zawad, their wives killed them. And of course, the Prophet who was killed by, their, by his wives. Uh, so we've got, we've got that. But <coughs> The only instance where the two sides are ma'asum uh, is that of the marriage of Imam Ali and Fatima Zahra. Um, and again, all the facts uh, point to the direction, proving the uniqueness of Ahlul Bayt. Yet some people deny it. Um, unfortunately. unfortunately. Um, the uniqueness of Ahlul Bayt, of course, Ayat al tathir which we have in the Quran, but. Um, 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 uh, Allah, and the hadith continues that um, uh, I have created you from the the best uh, tina, uh, um, if you like the matter for creation, mm -hmm. and um, I've created your Shia from your from the same, if you like this matter from the same tina from the um, that um, you have a Shia. The, your Shia are people who, uh, if their their necks are are stricken, are that is if they are killed. They would not, uh, in your cause, they will, this will only increase their love for you. So it, it wants to show the devotion of the Shia, this, if you like, uh, uh, for Ahlul Bayt alayhi um, salam. So in here, in this very brief hadith, um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala outlines his, uh, his plan that he wants specifically to marry Imam Ali alayhi salam, and he, he shows that his Shia are uh, the devout Shia of Amir Ahlul Bayt al -Salam, are those who are uh, will continue for their love and devotion for Ahlul Bayt al -Salam, despite all uh, difficult circumstances. The hadith says, continues, says, this Siddiq, oh Allah, this Siddiq al Akbar, who is he? So the Holy Prophet is Ask. ask, asking Allah subhanahu wa Because he said that I've created you and I've created your uh, your wazir and your vicegerent, your successor. Uh, uh, from the same tina, mm -hmm. and he is the Siddiq al Akbar, and he will marry Fatima al Zahra, Sayyidat Insal Alameen, and he will, uh, uh, from him, you will have the two grandsons. He says, This Siddiq al -Akbar, Akbar, who is he? And the answer is, He is your brother Ali ibn Abi Talib. Allahumma <laughs> salli ala Muhammad. Now, question um, we've discussed previously as well with regards to the knowledge that was. Uh, entitled to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and that includes also a certain knowledge that um, involved the future um, because it occurs many times in narrations we see that uh, either the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa or the imams may ask certain things which we may know that they know the answer 
but they ask it to emphasize it to us. And is this the case as well? Yes. So the uh, so the Holy Prophet obviously knows who a Siddiq al Akbar mm -hmm. is, but he's asked it so Allah Subhanahu wa Taala can say it himself and emphasize it. Yes. Yeah. It's it's uh, it, as you said. We have <coughs> numerous circumstances like this when. Uh, 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 the Prophet asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or asked Jibra'il or uh, Fatima Zahra, Imam Ali asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa um, who is this and who is that? And uh, this is all for our sake. They know that this hadith will be reported, will be narrated uh, by generations, different people and so on. It will reach um, in a thousand years time or 1500 years time or 2000 years time. Um, for the benefit, if, if he had remained quiet and not asked the question, and if we had just read that hadith, uh, where the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what Allah said to him, um, then it will be vague. Who was the Siddiq al Akbar? Mm. And 2,000 la years later, people will start to say, oh, maybe it was someone else. Yeah. And it's, but it's, it's specifically, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi says, who is the Siddiq al Akbar? So this becomes part of the narration. And the reply comes, is uh, your brother Amir al Mumineen, Ali ibn Abi Talib. Can I just say, uh, so yeah, we've, we've got that. And we and we, we have that in numerous circumstances and numerous scenarios, if you like. And inshallah, we'll come. We'll, we'll continue to see that in the course of this um, uh, this subject. Inshallah. Then the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa says, "I saw." Um, he describes, "I saw a huge hole, and it was um, decorated with uh, uh, um, pearls and and jewelry, and uh, the floor was uh, floored by gold." And there was a, a big image. Um, image, you mean like a painting? A, a painting or picture. And uh, the question is, you, oh Muhammad, do you know who this is? And uh, the Prophet says, immediately says, yes, he's Ali ibn Abi Talib. Hmm. So in paradise, whatever that hole was, um, uh, the, the picture of Ali ibn Abi Talib is there. Of course, there are other narrations where uh, the, the, the malaika request that we, we are missing Ali ibn Abi Talib and we, we have cases like this and it was here that when he says this is Ali ibn Abi Talib uh, the Allah says marry Fatima to Ali so very clear, very clear cut and uh, he, uh, appoint him as your successor so this is the final if you like uh, uh, sentence of the hadith Marry Fatima to Ali and appoint him, appoint Ali as a successor, as your successor. So also one could argue that marriage to Fatima to Zahra السلام, and successorship go hand to hand. Um, they, uh, that only the successor of the Holy Prophet could marry um, the daughter. Well, at least this is what we have. It says mm. that marry him, whether they go hand to hand or not, um, um, I, I wouldn't like to get into that. Okay. But at least... Uh, there is one is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instructed the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, and of course he goes on uh, after the, this mi'raj he goes on to say I have been instructed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to appoint Ali ibn Abi Talib and the same we will see that he says I have been instructed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to marry Fatima to Ali um, uh, it happens that uh, they go hand in hand that's beside the point but we have specific instructions from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala concerning the marriage of Fatima al-Zahra alayhi uh, salam to Imam Ali alayhi salam and we have specific instructions from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa to appoint Ali alayhi salam uh, to be his successor. So the appointment of Imam Ali alayhi salam is not something that people decide. Yeah? The appointment of Imam Ali alayhi salam comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even the Prophet himself didn't decide. Yeah. Okay? And of course we have the example of uh, uh, Prophet Moses ala nabina wa alayhi salam. He said... Uh, uh, appoint, I ask, he makes a request to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, appoint a wazir for me. Haruna akhi. He asks Allah, he doesn't appoint Harun mm, uh, as his successor and his uh, uh, support, uh, wazir and vice gerent. He asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make that appointment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives him that appointment. So, uh, it, it isn't even in the control in the hands of the Prophet himself, uh, be it Prophet Musa alayhi salam or mm. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Question though, it might be a bit, it's irrelevant with uh, our topic, but once you mentioned uh, Nabi Musa alayhi salam and Harun, uh, where you mentioned that uh, Nabi Musa alayhi salam asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to appoint someone, 
as his basically he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to appoint his brother mm. as his successor mm. correct mm. and we believe in an asma that every prophet and imam mm. is born with the asma he doesn't acquire it during his lifetime so uh, Harun was masoom from birth correct mm. so would that not mean that Nabi Musa alayhi salam knew that he would be his successor. Um, okay, again, that's another thing he, he knew, uh, but he still wanted to make the point. Okay, so we're coming back to what we did, yeah, said. Yeah, exactly. That, that again, he, again, even he knows, he even still asks. He wanted to make to the point, point that okay. the Prophet Musa salam, mm. made a request to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make Harun his success, his vizier and his wazir. Huh? And then Allah gave him the permission. In the case of Muhammad alayhi salam, it is not, he wants to say that even it's not uh, in the authority of the, of the Prophet to appoint his, his successor or to appoint his wazir. We, we see it in the in case how of... How our church is Exactly. Uh, yeah, we see it in the case of uh, Prophet Musa alayhi salam, ala nabiyina wa alayhi wa alayhi salam. He makes a request, he says, can you appoint, I, I make a request, he makes a request to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to appoint my brother Harun as uh, my wazir my vicegerent and my supporter, my helper. And Allah grants him that. But he, might, he must make a request. Uh, he's not, he doesn't have the authority to, for him to do that. The same applies to, to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says on numerous extension that I have been instructed by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And in here, and in here, uh, in this uh, hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says that in the Mi'raj, finally the, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, Marry Fatima to Ali alayhi salam and appoint Ali as your successor. When reports used to come to Fatima Zahra alayhi salam that so and so has uh, approached your father and he wants your hand in marriage, um, and then the news was coming in X, Y, Z, and so on, <coughs> he says, uh, Glorify uh, and praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who chose my father as the uh, as his messenger, he says, "How comes they, these people, want to become what my hand want to become my husband, whereas they have spent years, they have spent many years being infidels or being polytheists, worshiping idols, <clears throat> and whereas my husband should be one who is masoom." Ma